This is Eagle News, Washington, D.C. I am Sarah Nachman. The Iglesia de Cristo Symphonic Choir and Orchestra arrived in New York a week prior to their oratorio concert. And in between rehearsals, they took time out to visit two Forest Hills neighborhoods, serenading the elderly in an afternoon of music and song. Tani Samage with the details. Hip-hop artist Macklemore once said, Music is therapy. Music moves people. It connects people in ways that no other medium can. This statement rang true as several members of the INC Symphony Orchestra and Symphonic Choir struck a chord with the residents of two nursing homes in the borough of Queens. These talented musicians shared their gift of music to the neighboring community. Seeing how elated the residents were, conductor and violinist Zyla Hakolne believes that bringing joy to others through music is a reward in itself. I believe music is a, a powerful tool for, for healing and for uplifting lives because uh, music is a universal language. It transcends race, transcends age, and anywhere in the world and anyone um, can appreciate music and the, any message that music can deliver. After the performance, um, all of the residents were very, very happy and thankful and really, really appreciative um, because, well, they were telling us it's not every day that you know, people, or especially young people, go out of their way to come visit a nursing home and, and do something like this for them, you know, just for their entertainment, for their enjoyment, and also for them to, to have a little, a little light, um, especially uh, when they may be going through you test trials in their own lives every day, they said this was kind of a breath of fresh air for them. And to hear this kind of music, to hear this kind of inspiration through music, uh, they were very, very appreciative of it. Rose Vizard, a staff member of the Fairview Nursing Center in Forest Hills, reacted to the instrumental performance and how the members are doing good for the community. It's wonderful to have something like that. I hoped in the future that we have more of it. Um, it would be, instead of, like you say, we have a tendency to stereotype where it's just older people doing it. That's not really true. We always, we're really misled because maybe that's what we see, but there's a lot of um, young people that are involved in this sort of thing. They're involved in their local churches and like you said, doing good. And it's really a blessing to the facility and the community at large. The sharing of music fostered connections between the ensemble members and the residents. As the events concluded with an exchange of handshakes, hugs, conversations, and smiles. The members that we have right now, we have many who are musically inclined. They, they love many things about music. So an avenue such as this, imagine Lincoln Center a chance for them to showcase their skills, their talents in a place like Lincoln Center. It will not only give them huge inspiration, but it will make them feel confident having to be able to perform in such a venue like that. That's why the administration um, is really looking out for all the brethren. And again, this is an avenue for them, for those who are musically inclined. And it's another way for the church administration to reach out to the brethren and cultivate their talents. Remember, um, almost everything we do has something to do with sharing our faith. The oratorio, the music that uh, will be presented will be about our faith. Even the lyrics, uh, what we did earlier in the INC giving or singing for a cause, at the nursing home, um, the music that was played were original compositions by brethren in the church, again, speaking about our faith. So through these musical um, activities, we are able to share our faith with non-members, and they're able to find out about our faith. Music appreciation has no age limit, as music is the language of the heart mind, and soul. This is Tenny Samagi reporting from Forest Hills, New York, One with 25. Thank you, Tenny. What a delightful treat. That is today's Eagle News, Washington, D.C. Join us tomorrow as we bring stories that matter to you.
visit our website at eaglenews.ph and eaglenewsalive.com. Also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash eaglenewsph. On behalf of Eagle News Washington, D.C., thank you for watching. I am Sarah Nachman, and I am one with 25.